Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Candice here with Crafting Elegance here on YouTube and Paper Crafting Elegance on Instagram. And I am coming on today to share with you guys some embellishments that I've made. Um, this month, I decided to play along with the hashtag and the collaborators on the embellishments on the 11th. And I wanted to share with you the um, embellishments that I made using the Fairy Garden collection from Doodlebug. So I've been playing along with this collection, making some projects, and I've made several embellishments, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share them with you guys. So if you are familiar with the 6x6 paper pad from Doodlebug Cop Fairy Garden, it looks like this. I have already started playing with it, so it's a little uh, broken at this point, but this is what some of the papers look like. Um, I'm sure you all have seen it. They're double-sided. Um, they're just a cute vibrant spring themed um, collection and so far I have used about 10 sheets in this pack of 24 um, papers. It's so cute, so bright, so vibrant and also I picked up some of the ephemera pieces um, from the ephemera pack and these uh, icon stickers. So I've already used a few of them on some of the projects that I made. So let me go ahead and share with you what I made. So, first off I wanna share are these shaker coffee cups that I created. Now I picked up the KS Craft um, coffee cup shaker die last month and it's a huge die set. It has a lot of pieces in it. I know a lot of you have seen it. And it's, come be, it's becoming one of my go-to um, uh, coffee cup dies. So I made these cute little shakers. So this one here is the using the B paper and some of the um, B ephemera from the pack. This one here I love because um, I'm using like a more like a, a latte or a frappe. And this sentiment here comes from Honey Bee Stamps and it fits perfectly onto the shaker. And I just love the purple and the blue mixed together. Then I have this one where this set comes with spoons and straws as well. So I made this little coffee cup shaker as well and this die also comes from Honey Bee Stamps. And then the last uh, shaker coffee cup is this one here. Love this little paper. Now the sprinkles that I'm using inside come from uh, Queen and & Company. And the sentiment here is from, I believe, uh, Hero Arts. So those were the coffee cup embellishments. Then I also made some cupcake shaker embellishments. And the die that I'm using here for the cupcake is one by Taylor Expressions. It's no longer um, in stock, but it's called the Sweet Tooth Shaker. And it makes this adorable, cute little coffee, I'm, I'm sorry, cupcake. And what I did here is I used some more of the 6x6 pattern paper, and now I'm using here some stickers from that Icon sticker sheet. So that's one. Here's another one. These fairies are just adorable. Then for this one, I paired the little turtle with it. A cute little butterfly. And my all-time favorite is the bee. So, so cute. So those are the cupcake shakers. And then lastly, I decided to make some uh, memory decks cards. So the first one is my favorite. I use the Lori Whitlock um, SVG file of the mushroom and I layered it um, a couple of times and I created my own shaker shape. I'm sorry, I <laughs> created my own memory decks uh, shape here. And I just thought this was cute because this comes exactly from the collection. It looks just like one of the ephemera pieces. Um, just to kind of show you, I'm in the midst of creating this little slimline card here. And I just love how it just matches perfectly. So this was the first one. The second one I made was using some more of the ephemera from the ephemera pack. And I just paired it with... Um, a stitch square die from my stash and this sentiment you're the best from tailored expressions 
This one here is using more of the ephemera pieces and the stickers from the Icon sticker sheet. And then this sentiment, thanks a bunch, comes from Sugar Pea Designs. So that's all the embellishments that I made for this month. I will continue to be working in the Doodlebug Fairy Garden collection and making some more projects. Um, if you like today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I welcome you to subscribe. I am trying to grow my channel and I like to interact more with you. So please leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite embellishment was from today's video. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.